welcome to day one of ccnp series guys today i am going to start a series of ccnp so this is day one day one today i am going to teach you two topics first topics will be category of network and second topic will be network architecture network architecture so you will see how we design a network right I, guys i will make you a perfect network professional within 50 days within 50 days but you must have knowledge about basic right you must have knowledge about ccna right basic knowledge of ccna because i am not going to teach you ipv4 in this series and i am not going to teach you subnetting right subnetting so you must have knowledge about subnetting just like suppose i have two router r1 and r2 let me connect these two router together and i am using network 10.0.0.0 so you must have knowledge this why i will use slash 30 when i configure 10.1 over here on this interface so why i am using 30 because i need only two ip address right in this network so that's the reason i am using slash 30 to reduce i the wastage of ipv4 right so i am not going to teach you subnetting ipv4 basic osi model network infrastructure so you must have knowledge about basic of ccna then only i will make you perfect in in network professional at network professional level right so without wasting our time let me start our topic and let me let me make you understand that you need some software as well before starting starting this series you need to install two software in your laptop first one is packet tracer packet tracer if you have any problem to install this software please let me know it on whatsapp i am giving you my whatsapp number eight five double one eight two six three four one guys if if you feel any problem if you if you have any problem to install software or if you have any problem to to understand any topic right please let me know on whatsapp i will i will help you 24 by 7 because you are my paid member okay and you have one more number that is nine six double four one double seven four one two nine six double four one double seven four one two or you can call me on this number as well right you can call me anytime i will pick your call and i will help you help you in ccna as well as in ccnp and if you don't have any knowledge about ccna then guys please visit my youtube channel pm networking and start watching video from day one day one of ccna right actually when you when you click on playlist you will see one playlist ccna routing and switching you need to complete that playlist first right so that your basic will be your basic will be your your basic knowledge will good right so you are good at basic level then i will only make you understand at professional level okay so this video this series is going to be help you a lot a lot if you are in networking field or you are in it industry you are working in it industry or if you are planning to work in it industry or suppose some if you are among those people who is working in transmission right and you are planning to shift your career in ip in it industry then this series guys is really going to help you a lot right this series will make you perfect network professional so after completion of this series you can you can apply for a job at professional level in a reported IT company in a multinational company okay and definitely company will hire you because you will have a knowledge of networking at professional level okay so make sure you will install this software first in your laptop first software is packet tracer and second software will be GNS3 and third software after completion of 10 days I will install one more software that is Eve in your laptop okay and we will perform practical on this software okay so if you have basic knowledge then let's start your CCMP journey you can start your CCMP journey right so this is day one and today I am going to start network category so guys we have three 
थ्री कैटेगरी ऑफ नेटवर्क फर्स्ट वन इज ए स्मॉल नेटवर्क ए स्मॉल नेटवर्क सेकेंड वन इज मीडियम नेटवर्क मीडियम साइज नेटवर्क स्मॉल साइज नेटवर्क मीडियम साइज नेटवर्क एंड लास्ट वन इज लार्ज साइज नेटवर्क लार्ज साइज नेटवर्क ओके सो ए स्मॉल साइज नेटवर्क मीन्स इफ यू हैव ओनली फिफ्टी टू वन हंड्रेड यूजर विच इज कनेक्टेड थ्रू स्विच थ्रू से अ सिंगल स्विच और टू स्विच राइट and they are communicating with each other right and uh, let let connect your lan network to isp through one router as well right so this is your a small network if i talk about a small network so let me give one example suppose this my switch and i have some user some computer so which are connected through this switch and here is isp internet you need one router to connect your lan network to internet now this user can access internet fine so this is your a small network right this is your a small network right this is your router actually switch is a networking device which is used to connect multiple computer together and router is a networking device which is used to connect multiple network together so why i am using router over here because isp network is different and my lan network is different so there is two different network so we need to connect this network together so we need a centralized device called router okay fine now medium size network medium size network means suppose we have we have 1000 user in my lan and we have multiple switch right and we have one layer 3 switch layer 3 switch and layer 3 switch is connected through my layer 2 switch and this layer 2 switch is connected through my router and my router is connected through internet and now these user are communicating okay so this is known as medium size network okay and last one is large size network large size network means enterprises network inter prices network network this is a large network right suppose you i have one network in delhi in delhi and one network in us and i have i have connectivity through isp right through isp and 5000 user are connected over here in delhi network and 5000 user are connected in us network right and this 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 user is able to communicate with this user so this type of network is a large network and enterprises network fine and you can also say this is your wan network the uh, actually isp network is wan network right so when you want we need a connectivity from isp that network is known as wan network okay okay so guys what is switch switch is a device which is used to connect multiple computer together and router router is a device which is used to connect multiple networks together fine so my second topic for the day is is network architecture okay network rk architecture so guys if i talk about network architecture first i will make you understand actually how we design network we design network in layer right actually we have three layer first layer is access layer access layer second one is distribution layer distribution layer and third one is core layer core layer let me discuss these three layer one by one okay so let me talk about access layer first so access there suppose we have some computer we have some computer right and we have some computer in different network as well we have two network suppose right and here we need one switch we need one switch that is this is layer 2 switch this is layer 2 switch right and let me connect this computer through this layer 2 switch but you can't configure ip address on layer 2 switch right because layer 2 switch the port of layer 2 switch is access port and you you can't configure ip address on access port am i right so you that's the reason why i why i told you you must have knowledge about basic right so in basic in ccna you will learn about access port about trunk port about uh, 
why why i am not able to configure ip address on access port these all thing so i right this 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 is not a right time to discuss this thing now okay now we need to connect this two switch together this is my switch one this is my switch two now this user can communicate with each other yes let me suppose create one vlan suppose i am creating one vlan 100 vlan 100 over here and vlan 100 over here let me make the member of vlan 100 to this port and let me make the member of vlan 100 to this two port right guys now this computer can communicate with this computer right so this is your access layer this is your access layer why why because this layer providing access to your user right this layer is providing access to your user your user is able to access internet through this layer right so this is your access layer what is the responsibility of access layer dear access layer provides access to the network access to the user access to user to the network right suppose here is internet right so this layer will allow user to access internet right so this is your access layer access layer means access layer provides user to access internet to access network okay so this is your layer 2 switch let me let me give one name to this switch so this is your access layer to, so that's why i am giving name a switch 1 asw1 access layer switch 1 and this is my access layer switch 2 okay now let me talk about distribution layer right so we need one layer 2 device layer 3 device sorry this is your layer 3 switch this is your layer 3 switch right this is your layer 3 switch and let me connect layer 2 switch 3 through this layer 3 switch okay and let me give a backup path let me give a backup path right guys this is your distribution layer this is your distribution layer why we call this layer as distribution layer because guys understand this layer is providing actually first one is backup backup redundancy right if this user want to communicate with internet suppose here is internet internet and this user want to communicate with internet so this user can reach to internet via this via this link as well and via this link as well right so how many path path this user have to access internet two path so suppose when my when this link will goes down so this user can access internet through this link through this switch fine fine this is your distribution layer so what is the responsibility of distribution layer distribution layer provides policy based connectivity and control the redundancy between access layer and core layer actually upper layer is core layer right let me let me draw one more layer over here first so suppose this is my router and let me connect this switch through this router and this is your core layer core layer so distribution layer provides connectivity distribution layer provides provides con connectivity to access layer and core layer distribution layer provides connectivity between access layer and core layer right what is the use of core layer core layer so core layer provides core layer provides fast transport between distribution switch within the enterprise campus within the enterprise campus so this is your one enterprise network right so this layer will provide connectivity to internet connectivity through internet suppose here is internet internet and let me connect my core layer to internet right so core layer is actually providing you connectivity between distribution layer to internet right to internet layer last layer right that is isp so guys there is three layer first one is access layer second one is distribution layer and third one is core layer right so what is the use of access layer access layer provides use access to the user to to the network right so your main network is this one so which layer is providing access to user access layer fine what about 
distribution layer so distribution layer will provide connectivity between core layer and access layer and second function of distribution layer provide redundancy right backup so suppose when one link will goes down so no problem will occur this device can still communicate with this device and this device can also communicate with isp now this device is able to access internet okay but suppose this link also goes down this link also go, goes down no problem at all this user can communicate like this through this okay so this link this link is goes down this link goes down this link goes down okay how this user can access internet let me show you like this okay so distribution layer providing redundancy right so guys hope this this you now you are able to understand we have three layer access layer distribution layer and core layer so we need we need a, a layer 3 device for distribution layer we need layer 2 device for access layer and we need router for core layer right and you can use you can use layer 3 as well for core layer right and we will run hsrp for redundancy right so if you don't have knowledge about hsrp you need to learn basic about hsrp just like what is hsrp actually hsrp is a protocol which we are using to provide redundancy for default gateway right for default gateway so we will discuss we will discuss hsrp in very deep in switching module in switching module when i will start switching so don't worry about this this hsrp okay let me show you in packet tracer let me show you in packet tracer how you will design a network packet tracer just wait okay so just suppose we have some user suppose i have 100 user over here i have 100 computer and 100 computer over here okay how we can connect this computer through layer 2 switch and that is that is your access layer let me connect let me show you a enterprises network so just suppose 100 users are connected here and 100 users are connected here let me connect this switch together as well right so guys this is your access layer what you need to do over here is you need to create one more layer that is known as that is that is distribution layer so we need layer 3 switch layer 3 switch multi layer switch okay and let me connect this switch together as well like this like this and what you need to do over here is you need to take one router okay so this is my router and let me connect these two layer three switch to this router okay and now you have isp over here now you have ISP Let me suppose you have just wait so 
suppose we have connectivity from cell tower so let me connect my router let me connect my router to this router okay we need to add one module over here right to connect because i have only two two interface on this router one is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 another one is 0 slash 1 you can add one module no problem at all just you need to turn off the device and you can add module like this and again turn on your router and now you can connect your router through internet so guys this is your this is your access layer this is your access layer right this is your distribution layer and this is your core layer okay so we will run hsrp over here hsrp right and we will we will we will connect these two switch through one more co cable over here right for the backup and and we will bundle we will bundle we will bundle this link right we will bundle this link to provide a good bandwidth between layer 2 switch 1 and layer 2 switch 2 right so how we can bundle it through ether channel right through ether channel i will bundle this link okay and this is your core layer core layer right guys so this is how you will design a network you can design a network you can design a network okay and in 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 day two in day two and day two i will discuss ipv6 so tomorrow i will start ipv6 right in next video you will see ipv6 so this was how you will design a network and i will discuss in very deep each topic each and every topic right this is this is day one so you you i don't need to discuss more thing right to make you confuse right i need to make you perfect in network right within 50 day so i have to teach a step by step right so you don't need to focus much today just understand how we design a network so we have three layer to design a network first one is access layer second one is distribution layer and third one is core layer at access layer we will connect access layer provides user access to the network right and we will use layer 2 switch at access layer let me talk about distribution layer so distribution layer provides policy based connectivity right connectivity between access layer and core layer and we will use layer 3 switch at distribution layer and if i talk about core layer so at core layer we will use router or a highway device right you can check it on google that uh, cisco preferred which device for core layer and which device for distribution layer okay so core layer this layer provides WAN connectivity to the distribution layer this actually core layer allow you to access internet right to allow you to connect your distribution layer to to WAN network to WAN network right to ISP network to internet fine so that's it that's all for today I am not going to discuss anything more today right tomorrow I will start IPv6 and we will see IPv6 how how long IPv6 is what are the classification and each and everything about IPv6 so don't need to talk about IPv6 today I will start tomorrow from zero level from a scratch level okay so thank you guys thanks for watching just wait for next video in next video you will see IPv6 fine and you need to install two software now first one is packetation and second one is gns3 okay thank you so much let's meet tomorrow with ipv6 bye bye